All right. Well, we dive in with another reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays Book by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers for June 18th, the day of financial security. And got us a lion who's either fighting or breaking into a bank vault, though it is empty or safe anyhow. I don't know how financial secure that is, but uh, that's what they're giving us. Hey, is it June 18th and it's your birthday today? Well, if it is, I just want to say happy birthday. And if you're finding this video long after your birthday has passed, well, I hope you had a happy birthday. But for everyone else who's joining us out of curiosity, I just want to say welcome, and I hope you enjoy yourself. So let's dive in, shall we? Your month is June, your day the 18th, and your sign is 26 to 28 degrees Gemini of the Gemini 3 period specifically. And your quality and element is mutable air. June 18th. The Day of Financial Security The influential people born on June 18th often move in hidden ways, exerting their greatest influence behind the scenes, having an enormous personal effect on others and even defying limitations of time and space. Those born on this day are capable of transmitting their energies from a distance through powerful thoughts. For this reason, they are bad enemies to make. And June 18th people are extremely good with money, particularly the women born on this day who know how to get it and what to do with it. And they're especially good money managers. Interestingly enough, many women born on June 18th are cast in a helpless role early in life and later break out of this mold by becoming super capable and reliable. In this respect, they are fighters capable of overcoming great disadvantages and childhood traumas. This makes them particularly good candidates for understanding the frustrations of others and excellent counselors. Along with the men born in this day, they have high potential as organizers and administrators. The men born on June 18th rely on their personal charm and talents to endear them to others. They like being at the top and require large doses of adoration from their family, friends, and the public. Thus, they may develop ego problems. More highly developed June 18th men outgrow the need for excessive attention and become strong, self-sufficient individuals. In general, cultivating true modesty and humility is a worthwhile goal for June 18 men. June 18 people of both sexes usually make excellent parents. They understand the need of children for both amusement and structure. Most often, they invest in the necessary time and interest in parenting to let their children know they really care. They also recognize the advantages of a financially secure home. They will not spoil their children, however, and are firm on matters they consider of vital importance. And their development of their children's character is what they value most. And those born on June 18th are playful and love to have fun. Yet they have nasty tempers, and although appearing mild, well, they deal quite harshly with moral wrongdoers. Most often their attitude is live and let live, but they are not to be crossed in areas involving honor and trust. The best way to appeal to them is through playfulness, for it is difficult for them to refuse fun, and they enjoy seductive games of all kinds. June 18th people are usually faithful to their mates and families and friends. They are, of course, tempted from time to time, but will very rarely forsake those they love for the promise of a better situation with someone else. They are excellent, responsible friends as well, but they can be both manipulative and erratic, two traits they should try to minimize. Because they get bored easily, they are constantly looking for excitement and change, and it is these qualities rather than anything truly immoral in their nature, which sometimes leads them astray. All right, let's move on to your numbers and your planets. Those born on the 18th of the month are ruled by the number 9, as 1 plus 8 equals 9, and by the planet Mars. This can typically cause problems for the Mercury-ruled Geminis born on June 18th, who can be argumentative and allow anger to color their logic. And June 18 people have to beware of emotional outbursts, and since their tendency to quarrel can create enemies, they must avoid provoking conflict. In addition, because of the Martian energy from the number 9, 
Their more mental and mercurial Gemini qualities may be periodically thrown out of whack. All right, let's move on to your tarot. The 18th card of the Major Arcana is the moon, which primarily represents the world of dreams, emotions, and the unconscious. Positive attitude, uh, attributes rather include sensitivity, empathy, and emotional understanding. Negative qualities include emotional malleability, passivity, and lack of ego. The imaginative influences of the moon can create illusions and lay all kinds of traps and ambushes for June 18 people. And since this upcoming sign of cancer ruled by the moon and the Gemini cancer cusp, which is the theme of magic, are here coming into play, moon influences are greatly magnified and lending those born in this day increased sensitivity and empathetic abilities. Moving on to your health. June 18 people must, being Geminis, beware of all problems concerning their hands and arms, nervous systems, which manage depression, and breathing. Beware of excessive smoking. Because June 18 people are often both spiritually and financially oriented, they like to invest money and time in their health, perhaps through yoga, meditation, or spiritual practices. They are also practical enough to see the value of more conventional exercises like walking, swimming, and basic calisthenics. Sex will help keep them happy, but it is usually not central to their life. And usually June 18 people make excellent cooks and can thus control their diet. Here is your advice. Try to pull all varied parts of your life together. Apply your strengths to each area and work on eliminating or at least understanding your bad habits, or your bad traits, rather. Withdraw from life occasionally. And here is your meditation. In fact, in the larger scheme of things, any two events linked by a consciousness are happening, are happening, rather, synchronously. Synchronously, okay your strengths and your weaknesses your lively your money wise and your influential your weaknesses your manipulative erratic and restless let's try that meditation again i'll try to read straight I'll try to get it right in fact in the larger scheme of things any two events linked by a consciousness are happening synchronously there you go. Okay, let's dive into those born on this day. So you know what company June 18 people are in. And we're starting off strong and melodic with Paul McCartney. He was a British singer, songwriter, bassist, composer, the Beatles and Wings, and a reputed billionaire. We have a Sylvia, uh, Sylvia rather, Porter, a financial columnist, a money expert, and she wrote Sylvia's Porter, Sylvia Porter's Money Book. Isabella Rossellini is a model, film actress, a twin daughter of Roberto Rossellini and Ingrid Bergman. We have Sammy Kahn, who was a songwriter. Lou Brock, who's a baseball outfielder and eight-time National League Steals leader and 3,023 career hits. We have George McCann, who's a baseball or basketball center, rather. Three-time All-American, and he led the Lakers to five NBA titles and was an ABA uh, commish commissioner. We have Viscount uh, Castle Ray. I'm not sure how to say that. I butchered it a bit. He's a British statesman, Marquis of Londonderry, and minister to George the Fourth. I think that Roman numeral is. <laughs> we have John D. Rockefeller the Fourth. Was a West Virginia governor and U.S. senator. And we have E.G. Marshall, film and TV actor. Richard Boone is a film and TV actor of Paladin. Have Gun Will Travel. Um, let's see, we got Dudley R. Hirschbach, was a uh, U.S. Nobel Prize winning chemist in Reaction Dynamics. Gail Godwin was a novelist of The Finishing School. Robert Ebert, a columnist, TV reviewer of Siskel and Ebert. Jeanette MacDonald, a uh, singer, film actress, and teamed with Nelson Eddy. We have Ian Carmichael, British comic film actor, Donald Keene, literary critic, translator, and leading the West expert on Japanese literature, and Edouard Daladier, who's a French socialist premier, and agreed to allow 
Hitler to partition Czechoslovakia at Munich and imprisoned by Hitler. We have Key Luke, who's a Chinese-American film actor and a number one son in Charlie Chan films. We have uh, Ellie Levine, uh, Santa Fe painter, Frolic G. Rainey, an archaeologist and museum director. All right, your season is spring. Your sign, once again, is Gemini of the Gemini 3 period, and your quality and element is mutable air, or element quality, rather. Uh, I don't know, I said it right the first time. In any event, hey, if it's June 18th and it's your birthday today, I just want to say happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, the Day of Financial Security. In any event, this book, I got the affiliate link down in the description for it. Uh, if you enjoyed this, enjoyed the channels, to, or you want your own copy, consider giving it a click and picking you up one. It makes a great uh, party starter, icebreaker, and get the conversation started in that kind of respect. Or if you're just generally curious, this will have you exploring things for a long time indeed. Um, in any event, I just want to say thank you for joining us. And uh, for those that were curious, uh, I hope you join us on your birthday. Once again, happy birthday there, June 18ers. Take care of yourselves.